a solid right circular drum of radius r is equal to 0.3 meters and weight w is equal to 143.3 newtons is free to rotate about its geometric axis as shown in figure on around the circumference of the drum is a flexible cord carrying at its free end a weight q is equal to 44.5 newtons if the weight q is released from rest find the time t required for it to fall through the height h is equal to 3 meters with what velocity v will it strike the floor so these are the two things it is asked if you observe the given figure so it will be having uh, two objects right so one is uh, pulley and another one is a mobile block so here pulley is having rotary motion and the mobile block is having linear motion so that means here the problem is a combination of uh, rotary motion and linear motion first let us draw the free body diagram of the block q so when we consider the block q so we need to remove all the contact surfaces and draw the block separately so let us do that so free body diagram of block q so when we are drawing free body diagram of block so the first thing you need to remove uh, remember is remove all the contact surfaces remove all the contact surfaces and draw the blocks separately so the first thing you need to represent is weight so weight of the block is q so which will act vertically downwards and along the string there is tensile force let us consider the tensile force in the string as s and it is having acceleration of a in the downward direction it is given there in the question acceleration a in the downward direction in the opposite direction you will be having inertia force which is ma or w by g into a here weight of the block is q right so q by g into a is the uh, inertia force here so when you consider uh, the sigma fy equal to 0 equation q minus q plus s plus q by g into a is equal to 0 from this s is equal to q minus q by g into a so consider this one as equation 1 as i told that this problem is a combination of uh, linear motion and rotary motion so we have to establish uh, the relationship here so how to that one means uh, first consider uh, the basic equation for rotary motion as it is the basic equation f is equal to ma is the basic equation for linear motion and for rotary motion it is uh, m is equal to i alpha right so using this one only so i will find the relation for linear acceleration how it means uh, so here m is moment of force right so uh, it is nothing but product of uh, force and perpendicular distance here when you consider the given figure so it is uh, like this right so it is uh, fixed like this and q is uh, attached to another end like this okay here when you consider here here from this point so this distance is nothing but radius right so here when i consider moment force into perpendicular distance force is q and the perpendicular distance up to the center is r nothing but uh, q into r sorry sorry along the rope it will be having tensile force right s so s into r s into r is the perpendicular distance which is equal to i is a moment of inertia mass moment of inertia mass moment of inertia for circular disc is mr square divided by 2 m r squared divided by 2 you need to consider uh, you need to remember this relation m r squared divided by 2 into alpha so here uh, r r gets cancelled so s is equal to instead of m i can write w by g into so 1 r gets cancelled so r divided by 2 so you know the relation between linear velocity and uh, angular velocity right v is equal to r omega so if i differentiate this one so a is equal to r alpha so instead of alpha i can substitute a by r so just using that relation here so a by r so here r r also gets cancelled so from that s is equal to w by 2g into a so consider this one as equation 2 from 1 and 2 i can equate both right so that means q minus q by g into a is equal to w by 2z into a q is equal to 44.5 newtons this is given in the question 
so weight of the block and the weight of the pulley is 143.3 newtons substitute here so 44.5 minus 44.5 divided by acceleration due to gravity is 9.81 into a is equal to so weight of the pulley is 143.3 divided by 2 into 9.81 into a here the only unknown is acceleration simplify this uh, equation and find the acceleration value when you calculate it you will get 3.76 meter per second square so this is the acceleration linear acceleration now you read the first bit find the time uh, t required so t you need to find uh, to fall through a height h is equal to 3 meters so h is nothing but height so you can consider that one as displacement also right so when this is released it from rest initial velocity u is equal to 0 right and next acceleration also you got uh, that is 3.76 meter per second square so you need to find time so s is there u is there a is there t is there so t you need to find what equation you can use is s is equal to ut plus half at square so s is uh, 3 meters initial velocity is 0 plus half into acceleration is 3.76 into t square from that uh, you can find the value of uh, t so which will be equal to 1.26 seconds so this is the answer for first bit and read the second bit with what velocity v will it strike the floor so that means you need to find the final velocity of the block so the relation between final velocity initial velocity and acceleration and time for the second bit is v is equal to u plus at initial velocity is 0 uh, why because this block is started from rest right and acceleration you have already calculated which is 3.76 meters per second square and time just now calculated 1.26 seconds substitute that you will find the value of velocity which is nothing but 4.73 meters per second this is the velocity with which the block will strike the floor hope you like this video if you like this video click on like button and for more videos do subscribe my channel thank you for watching